Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. You want to know more about football loans, how it works? Is it good for you? Is it not? Should you go out on loan? Maybe stay with your local team? Then I want you to stay tuned. I'm Joe. This is Joe Tiberi Podcast and welcome back. So on today's episode, I really want to talk to you guys about football loan. And you know, is it should you go out on loan? Should you stay and play with your team? And I want to break down a little bit, you know, um, the reason why players go out on loan and a little bit how about how it helps or how it works, you know, for every every player in a, in a different way or form. We are going to talk about football loans. It doesn't mean people borrow money from the bank or whatever. This is basically a football player, could be any level that might be injured or it's a a youth team player or a young player coming up the ranks and they need football experience. So, you know, the mother club will say, hey, why don't you go out on loan to maybe a lower level team? For for instance, um, if a player plays for a League Two club, they just use England, and he needs experience. You know, the club will look out for a loan for that player, and say, "Hey, you know, go down to Conference or Conference South, go and play." It could be a month, could be three months, six months, a whole season, just to get fitness or experience. Yeah, so that's what. As far as I know, the basic loan system works. When it comes to the players' wages and money, I think uh, most of the time, the mother club pays for the players' wages as normal. And then um, the team that he's going on loan to will kind of pay a little bit or maybe half of the wages as well for that, for that player. So that's how, for me, it works with a loan system. Second, one of the most important things when it comes to loaning out a player is, um, is for the player to actually be willing to go out on loan. And I'm going to talk, I'm going to use myself as an experience and talk a little bit about the clubs I've been on loan to, the effect it had on me. Is, was it good for me? Was it bad for me? So if you're a young player watching this and you're thinking about going on loan or your, your coach is telling you, hey, I think you need to go on loan and get fitness or get experience maybe this video might help you so yeah just stick around and see so i don't know how many clubs i've been on loan to a lot i think um if i could count on top of my head a few in conference south um conference prem and some loans i really enjoyed and some loan deals i really hated it and you know it all depends on you you know how you, if you really want to go out on loan most players don't really want to unless they're injured and they're coming back from an, a big injury you know and they need to get fit and the team that they play for you know don't have the time or or, or he's not fit enough to be in the squad so the coach will look out for a loan for you and this happened even in the Premier League you could just see in Arsenal you know have a, a player from um, uh, Real Madrid on loan there at Arsenal so it, it you know it happens everywhere every level so um, a few clubs that I've been on loan to didn't really enjoy it uh, some I really loved it because you know you got to think about when you go out on loan you're gonna meet a whole different new new team new coach you know players different players you know you know used to and you're gonna go and train with these guys you're gonna go and play with them so sometimes when you're when you're f- coming from the youth level or youth team or a young kid you know you know it's not sometimes not the nicest thing you know so if you're a young player and you're thinking about going on loan that's one of the things you have to be careful about you have to kind of know which club you want to go to and also the club that you're going to they have to show interest in you as well that they really need you to come on loan to them and help them you know so that's one of the key things that um which was quite important to me because most of the clubs that i really enjoyed the coaches were really really um how do i say they were looking forward to me coming to help them to 
you know, to play for them and stuff like that. So I find it very, very important that the other coach shows interest in me, you know, believes in me and want to want me to come and help the team to do well in the league. And I think one of the clubs that really showed interest in me when I was playing for Barnet in League Two was Dover. You know, I went to Dover. They were in Conference South and that season I went there on loan for like two months. We went eight games on beating run, finished second in the league, had went in the playoffs and you know, we didn't go up but went in the playoffs. So it was a very good loan. And after that loan, the following season I signed for them on a permanent deal because I really enjoyed it there and I signed for Dover the following season. So as you can see, going out going out on loan could actually end up f for you joining another team. So, you know, you got to think about all of these part of football. It is part of football when you might join it, go out on loan to a team and probably end up signing for them the following season. So these kind of football deals happen as well. And also I've been on loan to some clubs that really hated it. Not in terms of football wise, but just, you know, the whole vibe around the club and the way they run the organization there it just wasn't for me you know it's, and it, it's like you know there's no i couldn't really get on with some of the players not anything not like you know arguing or any anything like that it just mainly like we just had nothing in common you know so it's like you know couldn't really blend in with them and you know be part of the team even though you know i played every game you know when i when i was on loan for like a month or so and i didn't really blend in with them but most of the clubs i've been on loan to i really enjoyed it and you know i it's a good thing to do if you're a young player especially coming up instead of you playing youth team football for your local club you might be playing for a, a league two you know club or league one or you know conference football you know just listen just you know think about it listen to your heart and and go for it it could be a very very good thing for you it might not be or it could be but most of the time you know you go on loan you're just there to impress you're just there to to do well and, and prove to your coach you know at your main club that hey i'm good enough and i'm ready so the main point is for you to go out there and really impress and play and do well as much as you can oh. um like I said, if you've had an injury for a very, very long time and you're just coming back to training, you know, you might want to think about going on loan to another team. And, you know, it's like I said before, loan deals can be very, very good and could be bad. But I think if you're coming back from an injury, probably a very serious injury after your rehab and your back in training you know you might not be fit enough to just jump into your into your team so you might have to go alone and 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 I think most of the clubs in the top level like the Premier League level and stuff you you kind of barely hear players going out on loan over maybe 25 26 year old because they'll probably just play some reserve football and get the fitness up but for the younger players you know they kind of send them on loan because they know they need men's football and that's very important as well. Playing youth team football is totally different than playing men's football. Men's football is a different football altogether. And as a youth team player, it's good that you go out there, play men's football. You know, whatever level is it, it is, it could be lower, maybe three leagues lower than what your mother club is. But men's football is so different and you get, you know, you're going to get used to it physicality, the fitness, you know, the aggressiveness and all that comes with football. So playing men's football is very key for any young player. So if you're a young player out there, try and get yourself out there. Try and get some men's football experience in your game as well. Back to the injury guys, you know, most teams like, you're not going to see Paul Pogba on loan. Uh, just because he had a, a knee injury. No, that would never happen. You know, some of these guys playing in the Premier League, they're not going to go out on loan. That's how it is. Probably these other clubs can't even cover their wages. But, you know, some do go on loan. Some players do. You know, even at bigger clubs, they still go on loan. And as you can see, sometimes they go on loan and the next season they sign for the clubs that they went to. 
Sometimes they go on loan and after a month, they come back to the mother club because it didn't work out. Like I said in, in earlier in, 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 in my video, you have to kind of want to go out on loan and also the team that you're going to have to show an interest in you. The worst, the worst, worst thing that can ever happen is you going out on loan and not getting on with this coach that you're going out on loan to. You know, you're going to meet a new coach, you know, saying, hey, I want you to come along. You go there and he's not what, you know, what you thought he's, he is. So you just got to be careful when it comes to that part. Also, very, very key, important, important thing that I've realized since moving in Sweden is that most clubs here, if a player is going to join a team in Sweden, they will go out there and they will train with a club for like a week, maybe two or three days before they make it, make that decision. Like, do I like this team? And also vice versa, does this team likes me? So it goes in both hands. So most teams, yeah, you go out there, you go and train with them for like a week or so, you know, to see how you feel about this team. If you really, really like this team, then yeah. And, and if they like you back, then you sign for them. So maybe in England and other countries, loan deals could be like, like you might want to go and train with them for like a few days, train with them and see how you feel. You know, if you feel the energy, you know, everything, you know, is good, then hey, why not? You could then go out on loan, you know? So that's what I think about that. So going back now to my experience with um, when it comes to, to loans is that, like I said before, most of these clubs, I really enjoyed working with them. Some of these clubs, it was okay. And for instance, for Dover, I actually ended up signing for them the following season. So for me, I think the loan deal system is very good. And I, I went for it, you know, and people have the opinions about loan system. They don't want you to go to a lot of clubs on loan in a season, which is fine, you know, but I think if you're a young star and you're 17, 16, 18, whatever, and you're looking to go out on loan, you need game experience, go for it, man. You know, go for it. Go for a month, six month loan deal. Just go and play because all you need to do is play football. You need to be out there playing football. But not just football, men's football. Get men's football into your game. Get that experience playing against men. It's very key to your development. It's very key to the next level that you get to. So this is what we have for you guys today. Have a nice day and uh, catch you soon. Also, don't forget, subscribe and, you know, hit the like and uh, show me some love. If you have any questions about any content you'd like me to cover in the future, just drop a comment below and just let me know. Thank you.